end this video, I will explore the encryption and authentication modes and OPC way server for Plant SCADA. So this is Plant SCADA running. And we can see here now we have OPC way server. By default, you don't enable encryption communication and you allow anonymous access. So we'll just do that, configure this, and I will copy the endpoint URL for my OPC UA client. So I have a remote OPC UA client here, and I put the address like that. I'm not, I'm not using security or authentication, and I can check the connection in screen. I can browse my, my node like that, and pick one tag. Just select this tag and we can see the value is changing that's perfect so the second one i want to show you is to enable encrypted communication so we click that and click configure and now let's change the security mode to sign and encrypt and the security policy you can see here this is a certificate appearing, so I will add this certificate to my trusted store. This is a certificate from the OPC UA server. And we can see it's not connected yet because we need as well on the plant scada server we have to trust this rejected OPC UA client certificate and add it and the trusted people like this. When this is done we will be able to connect with my OPC client. And we can see it's green, so I'm connected. Let's start everything. And we can see the tags is changing as well. Same tags as on my runtime. So the last things I want to show you is uh, the authentication settings. So I will disable this anonymous mode. That means I need a user to connect now. So we can see an anonymous, we can't connect with anonymous. So let's add another an application settings. I will add my administrator user. And that's pretty much it. I am able to connect and to get the tags via OPC UA. So thanks for watching this demo. This is a quick example of how you configure your PC server with any OPC UA client. Thanks for watching and see you for the next video which is